why artificial intelligence is good bad and ugly at the same time well before i start off with my lecture or discourse on the topic i would request you to kindly subscribe to this channel and feel free to make any request regarding the topic or topics you want me to speak about so feel free to comment or inbox me now coming to the topic if i was to define artificial intelligence i would say it looks like a shining coin it has two sides one heads that's intelligence and tails that is unnatural so we are talking here about unnatural intelligence the hypothesis and advancement of personal computer framework that can perform assignments typically requiring human knowledge for example visual discernment discourse acknowledgement basic leadership and interpretation between you know dialects which alluded is called artificial intelligence technology is progressing so quickly that we will encounter radical changes in the public arena in our lifetimes as well as in the coming years we have just started to see manners by which registering sensors man made consciousness and genomics are reshaping whole businesses and our day by day lives as we experience this fast change a considerable lot of the old suppositions that we have depended will never again apply innovation is making another arrangement of decides that will change our very presence i will now share with you what will change in this decade firstly our lives will get completely digitized digitized digi uh, digitization beg your pardon started with words and numbers at that point we moved into games and uh, later into rich media like motion pictures pictures and and music we additionally moved complex business capacities medical devices uh, modern procedures and and transportation frameworks into uh, the advanced domain presently we are digitizing everything about our day by day lives our activities words and considerations modest universal sensors are archiving all that we do speak write and even think and making rich advanced records you know of our whole lives that's what is happening our family and friends will also get digitized and we will meet them more often on social media than in reality secondly your employment and jobs are going to shrink enormously if not eliminated in each field machines and robo and, and robots are are starting to take over the role of people we witnessed this first in the industrial revolution when manual generation moved into production lines and a huge number lost their uh, occupations new openings were made yet it was a frightening time and there was a huge cultural disengagement you would have already noticed that the development to digitize occupations is well in progress in low pay administration businesses amazon for instance depends on robots to do a noteworthy piece of its uh, distribution center many of the top players of cash and carry are quickly expanding their um, uh utilization of self administration checkouts with tesla leading the industry of self driving vehicles a huge number of driving occupations are on the verge of death already uh uh robotized therapeutic uh you know finding will will supplant specialists in fields for example uh, radiology dermatology and pathology the main asylum will be in fields that are imaginative 
and innovative or intellectually creative somehow or another. However, on the brighter side, thirdly, life will be reasonable. Reasonable to such an extent that we may not need to perhaps work at all. Today, most of our jobs are done through smartphones and PCs. They are like our slaves or uh, it may be so that they are the most dependable companions of ours in today's times. Life will eventually turn out to be profoundly less expensive. I'm not talking about food though. That will continue to be uh, expensive. We are as of now observing the early indications of this. With Ubers and Olas, I don't think we need our own personal vehicles. With Zomatos and Swiggies, we don't need to cook anymore. With Amazons and Flipkarts, we don't need to step out for shopping. So fourthly, we have entered the most testing times of survival of the fittest era. We need to be ahead of others to survive. The ones who will not embrace technology will disappear into the thin air, into oblivion perhaps. The ones with online learning tools will do better, better than those attaining conventional classroom education because of flexibility and enormity advantages of online education. Fifthly, destitution or austerity will no more be a challenge. What will bother us more is plentifulness. We will have too much to deal with, with innovation making everything less expensive and increasingly rich, our issues will emerge from devouring an excessive amount of possessions as opposed to close to nothing. Finally, differentiation among man and machine will progressively start to diminish. Dangerous. Embedded retinas, use of silicon to supplant neurons, hearing implants, artificial organs and limbs and sex toys will make a new human out of you, a new machine. I'll leave you with some appetite here. Thank you.